In this video, I will show you how to use signals with React. To use signals with React, we need the package from P React, signals React. This library is becoming super popular and it brings real reactivity to React. So let's start. We need to install P React to signals React. Copy this command. I already created empty project with wheat and uh, only one thing what we need to do is install pre-react signals. Before we will start using signals, let's check how this application created with wheat works right now from the box. We have up JSX and we have set state, use state with um, count, counter and we have a button for, count, for increasing the value. Let's open in profiler and uh, refresh the page. Start recording and let's count one, two, three. And as you see, we have three different renders after each button click. Okay, now, now we can start using signals. According to the documentation, only one thing what you need is import signal. From P React signals React and you can create a signal. The only one parameter is the default value of the signal and we have this count. Now let's rewrite this component using signals. We have count, we don't need um, state. We will output count and uh, for increasing we just need to change value of count count value plus one. Let's check the same application, refresh. We removed use state and now let's do the same. Refresh the page, start recording and press one, two, three. Stop. And now as you see we have this events but we don't have up re rendering it wasn't rendered only one thing what was changed in is the value of our counter so one of the main benefits of signals it's react does not re render your component at all okay let's create a bit more samples Let's check how works props drilling with React and uh, signals. We can remove everything, we don't need it. Okay, let's create a component, uh, some components we will use for props drilling. So we have three components and now we want to create a props drilling component. So only one thing what we need is uh, render one and the path data. The so next we will add the button. And we need pass count as a variable. Now we can check our console and we see that one, two, three components were rendered. Now when we click increase, there is nothing changed. So we passed, let's add this one, data is here we have this component and uh, when we increase value we don't have renders. Props drilling works fine, signals is passing only reference to the variable, to the signal 
and uh, all these components are not changed. For example, let's change this to use state. We will use use state. We need set count uh, count plus one, and we passing this value. Let's comment count from signal. Now we have a refreshed page, one, two, three components rendered and let's increase. And as you see, for every click, we have increased value. And we have a rendering of the components. So from the performance perspective, using signals are much better and interesting. Okay, let's take a look on signal signals events like uh, signal and we want to use effect so in our components we can use effect we don't need any dependencies we just need the output value we want so on the time you are start you start using the signal your component is subscribed on the signal and the same with effect as soon as you just started use signal you don't need put any dependencies as we have for the react use effect you can use it here let's refresh so we see that count changed zero now we click increase we see count changed to one okay let's remove this we only need the count from the signal count count value so to use effect you need the signal and the get value as soon as you get this value from the signal it will be executed and the effect will be called so as you see increase and we have this effect and in this effect you can do any network calls or everything else what you need to do with value or with signal in case react signals doesn't work on your application check the version if it's older it should work if it's newer it might not work in this case you need to add one additional line to your main JSX file it's importing pre-react signals react auto with this command your signals should work with react in any case also you can use function computed this function will create a new signal based on the other signal for example const double we want to use computed and we want return count value multiple two and we can output this as you see as we changed when we change value double single is changed in multiple twice so you have a new you have a new signal and it the value is calculated based on the other values also what is great from the perspective of using signals as a state you can create a new file for example state js you can move these signals To the state and just export in the application you need import state from state jazz we have count let's call it count and this is this count you don't need anymore and uh, your application will work the same way so you can use separate state for the whole application signal 
and uh, just import in the place where you need. In this case, you don't need uh, props drilling. You can in the your in your latest component just import your state and use it. Whenever the state will be changed, reaction will appear. There will be a reaction, and your component will render changes without rendering itself. Amazing, unbelievable. That's it. Thank you for watching.